Okay, so we finished up our install of ACS5, and we want to verify now that uh, the installation and in initialization of uh, the server uh, is running properly. So uh, the first thing we want to do is, uh, well, let's make sure our management workstation has uh, reachability to the, the correct host and network. So we will first ping our Active Directory server, which is 192.168.3.10. It looks like we have good uh, good reachability there. We'll ping dot eleven, which is our ACS primary uh, device. We have reachability there. We'll do dot twelve as well, which is our secondary ACS server. And then of course the access switch uh, to which they are connected. Two. Okay, and we have reachability there as well. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is head into the CLI for the ACS device itself. We will go to our primary, sorry, 192.168.3.11. Use our default credentials here. And what we're going to check out in here is uh, if the device itself can ping uh, the same devices we just pinged from our management workstation. So again, uh, let's try our default gateway actually, 192.168.3.1. That looks good. We'll try our ACS server. I'm sorry, our Active Directory server. We'll see if we can hit the secondary ACS server. And the response is different on that one. Let's try that again just to make sure that's the right output. Oh, yep, I'm sorry, I, I just read it wrong. Um, and then let's also go ahead and ping our access switch, which we should have no problem there if I understand the network correctly. Okay, and our access switch, uh, good response from that device as well. So from the ACS device, we can ping our Active Directory server, server. we can ping our secondary ACS device, uh, as well as switch in and the router or default gateway for this ACS server, for the primary ACS server in this setup. What we want to uh, check now is whether or not the services that run the application itself, the ACS application itself, are running properly and we do that with the show application status ACS command. I'll give that a second to run and we can see that all services are running. We have a handful of services here, database management runtime, view database, view job manager, view alert manager, view collector, and view log processor and these are the ones that you want to make sure they're running every single time uh, you uh, you restart ACS and that looks good uh, there and that uh, verifies our initialization after uh, the initial install of ACS